All right, so I'm headed to Haiti to teach out of this book. This is the book in Haitian, and it's all about electrical basics for young adults uh, to teach them some basic electrical knowledge so that way they can hopefully prepare to go out and get good careers and uh, help their country out. This is an English language version of it that I have, and I wanted to just do a quick video while I'm, while I'm gone, just do a series of these that you guys can watch uh, while I'm away. That's the, basically the stuff I'm going to be teaching in Haiti. Uh, r really basic concepts, but things that HVAC professionals, especially those who are new to the trade, or maybe those who never had a formal education. Today, we're going to show just the basic electrical circuit. And really everything that we do in electrical diagnosis and wiring up circuits comes down to this really basic principle. And that is that we have a power supply, we have a switch, and we have a load. And a load is the part that does whatever it is we're wanting to do. It's the part that actually converts electromotive force to something that we want to accomplish, whether it's light or heat, or whether in this case it is a motor. All I'm gonna do here is just show you the basics here. So we've got a power supply. You'll see it's a circuit. We're gonna wire up a circle out of one side into the other. So I'm gonna use this switch here. This is actually a double pull, double throw switch, kind of similar to a 9340 relay for those of you who've used one of those. It can go in either direction. Okay, so now we're wired out of a power supply and we're gonna make a circuit through a load, through a switch, and then back the other way. Or if you like, we could say we're going this direction. But truthfully, it's, and this is sort of an interesting thing, is that electrons are actually stored on the negative side of a battery. So in reality, it's actually going this direction, which is uh, often a cause of confusion. Really doesn't matter that much. Uh, with a DC motor, you will notice that it does uh, operate in opposite directions if I change polarity, but let's go ahead and show how it works. So what we're gonna do is right now the path is open from here to here. And as soon as I make this circuit, so as soon as I close this switch, now my little motor is spinning away. And this little guy is really going. I'm actually always quite impressed by how well that works. So that is a closed circuit. As soon as I open the circuit, now the load stops operating because now we no longer have a path. A lot of people will say electricity goes to ground and this kind of proves that we've got no ground here. We've just got a battery and it just goes from one side to the other. And that's really how electricity flows. It goes from one side of the power supply to the other side of the power supply, whether you're working with 240 volts, 120 volts, 24 volts, nine volts, no matter what you're working on. That's really what you're trying to do is create a circuit from one side to the other through a switch and then through the load in, in and out of the switch, in and out of the load, and then back to the power supply. So that's it. That is the basic electrical circuit, power supply, load, switch. Switch turns on and off, re-diverts, passes power. Power supply provides the electromotive force or the potential difference. And the load is the thing that does whatever we're trying to accomplish, whether that's motion via magnetism, light, or heat. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.